Hey y'all, it's been a while. A lot of things happening around here. We kind of took spring break off last week. We had family come to visit and they brought in a bunch of stuff. Let's see, they moved in a bunch of stuff from one of our storage buildings. So tiling has come to a halt, but now I can finish painting the trim. So I've got the fireplace going. I've got all the heaters on because I need to paint the rest of the living room kitchen trim. And then when Marky Mark was here, they sanded the living room ceilings down. So I need to wipe them down and then I can paint them. Pops is on his way to South Dakota today. So when he gets home, I wanna have all of the boards painted. I wanna have the ceiling painted. Yesterday we picked up the boards for the beam, but obviously we can't do those yet until the ceiling's situated and the crown molding is in. And once the ceiling, the crown molding, and the beam is in, Pops can put that air conditioning unit in. And I'll have all the baseboard already painted and the door trim by the time he gets home. So once these things are done, the air conditioner's done, then we can put the rest of the floors in, including the laundry floor back in. And once all that's done, we can move all that junk that's in the shop in here. We can put the refrigerator in place and temporarily we're gonna use some of those cabinets for kitchen counters and empty out one of our storage buildings by the end of April. That's the goal. It's mid-March. What is today? Today's the 20th of March, I think. And also, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Let me turn on a light because it drives me insane. On this wall, right here is where we did all of the sample colors. And when you get the samples in the little bottles, they are not, I think they're semi-gloss or they're satin, whichever it is. Doesn't matter if they're not the same gloss type. No matter how many times you paint them, the, they're still gonna be discolored. I don't know if you can see right there how it's the right color but you can see where we did the samples. There is a different sheen to it. So I got some spray kills type stuff I had in the shed. I got this stuff. I'm gonna spray over it once it gets warm enough. And then when I touch up the paint from my mess I'm gonna make on the ceiling, I will also paint that over again and get rid of that obnoxious sheen. Pops keeps telling me, oh, well, we're gonna miss. You won't see it when the refrigerator's in here. And I know my policy is don't like it, don't look. But the refrigerator is gonna be sitting right here. And that color sheen problem is basically from that shadow to the edge of the refrigerator. I can't let that go. I'm gonna spray paint it and repaint it. So let me get started. I'm gonna start, I got my wet Swiffer mop thingy to wipe the dust off the ceiling. And then I'm gonna spray paint that. And then I'm gonna go coat number one out there. I'll keep watching. Okay, y'all, I just finished two coats of paint ceiling paint in here. As you know, I already had two coats. Pops filled in the gaps and sanded and I wiped it today and put on two more coats of ceiling paint. And then in here, I painted the rest of the baseboard. I don't know which is which. One's baseboard, one's ceiling trim. The brick mold that goes along the beam. Pops picked up the beam wood yesterday. When he gets home this weekend, we're gonna do hang this. Obviously, I'm gonna have some ketchup paint to do in here. There's a few places I can already tell. I need to put some caulking in and paint, but that's all by hand. You probably remember when we tried to tape all this off before to spray paint the ceilings, the paint tape is not sticking. So I didn't even bother. Plus there's crown molding that's gonna cover most of that. So I will cut in anything that needs cut in once we put the frame up, the trim up. You saw me use the Zenser stain block on that part of the wall where the finish was different on the samples. So when all of this is in and I touch up, then I'll paint that. But in the meantime, that was three more gallons of ceiling paint. For those of you wondering, the three gallon bucket that we put it in in 
October or November maybe, maybe even before October. I put the present seal over it and I even left the roller with the roll and the grate hanging over the bucket. That paint was still good today. It was awesome, used it up. Anyway, I've gotta go clean myself up as you can see. I didn't quite keep myself clean and get ready for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, our ceilings look great today. I don't need to do any roller touch up, but there are some places, I don't know how well you can see them, but I'll need to get up here and do some caulking and some touch up later. I didn't get any of the edges along the beam or the wall because there will be trim. And I'll also deal with the paint. Once I do the trim, my discolored wall that was driving me crazy is well primed. So when I touch up here, I'll fix that. But now I need to come in here, right light on. Pop's already started laying some tile. This is just set in there. I need to figure out how many pieces to hold on to and then dig out all the boxes from that pile right there and take them back tomorrow. He flies home from, maybe he went to South Dakota, maybe. Flies home tomorrow, so floor decor is near-ish the airport. So after I pick him up from the airport, we gotta return that to floor decor and go to the wood store and get the glue for the beams. But in the meantime, the shower's on hold until we finish out here. Got the truck ready to put tile in. And then there's a couple of boxes of whole sheets of tile behind my blanket there. They don't wanna get paint on it. All of our trim boards look good. They don't need any more paint. So that's what I'm about to do. All stuff out. Hey y'all, here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We made it through the weekend, y'all. I've been out of town. Y'all saw Nana doing some painting and some whatnots. Had a big week, uh, what was it, uh, last week, I think, or the week before. We had company, I don't know, it's been a while. Check it out, we got my workbenches put in. We didn't show that because we had extra help here, so uh, we wasn't videoing them. But we got my workbenches put in. So we got that done, and got some stuff out of storage. We got that stuff done while we weren't videoing, while we had company. And you saw Nana in here, we got the the ceiling sanded and painted. Then I got it painted. Got to do some little touch-ups on it. She's been working on that stuff. Caulking around all the windows. You guys see, I think you guys have seen that. I did not film the caulking. Oh, well, there you go. Didn't see the caulking, but that's okay. So still working in the shower, but we got the shower done. Well, nah. okay, not done. We got some of the tiles laid out. Like I said, we had company, so we kind of put a kibosh on that and while we had muscles here uh, my nephew and his family came out and he's got muscles so while we had muscles we did the work in there so so we're taking a break from this while we already got this all cleared out in here and we're gonna work on putting in the ceiling trim and all that stuff and work on this room get this squared away hopefully we'll see our uh, project add kicked in so we're kind of scattered all over the place so you guys keep watching. We're going to get back to work putting in this trim and whatever else. You guys keep watching. It's back to work. as far as we wanted imagine that so we're gonna pick it up tomorrow we're gonna go with some more caulking and what else Nana? caulking stain light fixtures see what you think about the paint i think i have plenty of paint yes sir and glue maybe nonetheless we gotta run to town get some stuff so i think that's it for tonight y'all appreciate you guys watching see you tomorrow Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We're getting back on this trim. Nana, I think, is going to work on the caulking on this trim. And I'm going to work on the end pieces. They go to the end. 
and back there. Work on those pieces and then the brick ledge that's gonna go up here along the ceiling line, like we put over here for we put our faux beam on, just like we did in the other room. So that's what we're gonna work on first thing. And then when we get that stuff done, then we're going to work on this faux beam, getting our beams built. All right, you guys keep watching, it's back to work. Okay y'all, check it out. So we kind of got all the caulking done and Nana's doing touch up paints. Got this middle section done. She's just got to do some touch up paints. Got the place kind of cleaned up, swept up, reset. And I'm getting ready to work on the center beam. The center beam right now, getting that all prepped and ready to go so we can build those beam wraps, right? So, but before we do that, we're gonna take a little break and we'll be back in just a few. Okay, y'all, break time's over. So we're gonna get to work building on these beams. You guys keep watching and let's get back to work. Okay y'all, here you go, that's it for today. That's it for this weekend, I do believe, because tomorrow we're gonna be getting ready to go out of town and all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, so that's it. But we got quite a bit accomplished. We got this center beam, everything is leveled, ready to roll. Now all I gotta do is make my wraps to go around it. Got, as you see, all the trim put in. Nana got all, pretty much all the touch-ups done. She's got a couple of spots that she saw after she got off the scaffold to touch up that she missed. Caulking done. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. We're coming along. Appreciate you guys watching. See you guys next time. Okay, y'all, here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We're finally getting back at it. It's the weekend, y'all. Friday evening. We spent this morning at the church working on the Pinewood Derby for the kids, getting that set up and ready to go for Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we got the Pinewood Derby. Nana and I have been out of town, so we're finally getting back to it. We got our board separated for our beams. We're getting ready to work on our beams and getting ready to cut those down. Nana's over here rearranging because that's what we got to do. Moving from one place to the other, she's getting her kitchen area set up again. And that's about it. So you guys keep watching. We're going to work for a little bit and then we're going to call it a night. You guys keep watching. So back to work. Okay y'all, there you go. I think that's it for tonight. We got all of our pieces cut. Well, I guess our side pieces cut. And then we made our sample saddle to make sure it would fit around the beam. So that's our sample. So in the morning, we're gonna finish cutting the center pieces out. These center pieces, like this piece right here, the bottom of the beam wraps. We'll cut those in the morning and we'll start gluing them up and get them glued up. Once we get them glued up and fitted, then we'll shape them, we'll start shaping them, get them shaped, and then that will start staining them. So that's the plan. You guys keep watching. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, y'all. We're back. Here we go again. Another great day that the Lord has made. We're going to get back on these beams, and hopefully I would like to get them all assembled and Nana start staining and all that stuff. So we'll see. Because they got to be assembled and shaped before Nana can stain. So we got to assemble them, shape them, prime them, sand them, stain them. So that's what we're going to do today. How much we get done, we'll see. You guys keep watching. Let's go back to work.
Okay, y'all, check it out. We got the beams wraps. They're in temporarily. They're just kind of dry fit them up there. Now we gotta take them down and shape them. Get them shaped up, stained up, fixed up, and all that other good stuff. Oh, we're making progress, y'all. Keep watching. It's back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go. I think that's it for today. As you see, we got the beams all assembled, test fit, shaped, and I got them primed. And now uh, once the prime dries, probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, we got a busy day tomorrow. Definitely this week, the stain will all get done. I won't be ready to put those bad boys in. So I think that's it for tonight though. So appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. If you're enjoying, give us thumbs up. If not, we can give us thumbs down too. We understand not every video is for every viewer. We're okay with that. Either way, leave us some comments, good comments, bad comments, and different comments, constructive criticisms. Check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as check out the blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. Check out our other videos. We've got a lot more property vlog videos. We got a bunch of how-to videos. We got travel videos. Check those out. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.